everyone welcome back to another video on my channel today i'm going to be doing something with a pale pink and a pale blue um because i have some opal uh what they called crystals from sparkles blonde uk that are absolutely beautiful that you would have seen if you watched one of my recent sparkles blonde uk hauls um i've already prepped two nails they've just got two coats of a builder gel from the gel box uk on um, and these are the colours I'm going to be using. So I've got Fleur and Pink Petals. I'm going to do a coat. I'm going to do two coats of each on these nails here, um, just on these two. And then the other two we're going to be doing a design on. So I'm just going to quickly do these so I can get them in the lamp curing while we're doing the other two. Um, I just wanted to do the first coat of both the colours on camera because then you could see the colours that we're going to be using. They are absolutely beautiful. I love this one in particular. Um, I am very much a lover of blue and this beautiful baby colour is just, well, it's lovely basically. It would be great if it would focus better because it's such a pale colour, it's pretty difficult. But anyway, so that's going to go in the lamp and then we've got pink petals, which is just a nice light pink. To be fair, there's a lot more colour in this one than there is in the blue, but I don't have... I do have lighter pinks than this, but they don't match the pink opal crystals that I've got very well. So I decided to go with one that was slightly like more colourful, but just a better match. So it worked it worked out well anyway, it's fine. So that's the pink. Um beautiful. I'm gonna do the second coat of both those off camera, but first of all, I'm gonna put some of each of these colours onto my palette because we're gonna be doing some nail art with them on the other two nails. Those two nails that I've just put in are just gonna be plain, but we're gonna be putting the opal crystals on just to give them a bit of something extra. So here is the blue opal ones. They are absolutely beautiful and they're gonna go on the pink nail. And then here are the pink ones that are gonna go on the blue nail just to switch it up. So they're absolutely beautiful, but let's get ahead with these two design ones first things first. So I'm going to get my Erin's favourite brush. I'm going to get some blue on here. And we're going to be doing the same, we're going to be doing the same thing on both of these, but one of them is going to be blue based and then the other one is going to be pink. So I'm only going to be doing one in like full time. In full time? I always say that, don't I? And I can never think of what I'm supposed to say. Real time, that's it, not full time. Gosh. I do it every single time, and to be quite honest with you, it must annoy you because it really annoys me. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'm just going to be doing this one on camera, like as long as it actually takes me to do. And then the other one I will do off camera because it's the exact same process, and I don't want it to get too, I don't know, like repetitive and a bit boring sort of thing. So I'll do that one away from the camera so we're leaving a gap down the middle because we're going to have a little bit of glitter going on down there and then we're also going to be using some flexi tape as an outline for these nails as well so you don't need to worry too much about getting these lines absolutely perfect because you can just sort of we are going to be able to use the flexi tape to sort of sort that out a bit so don't worry too much um, I'm just using the brush from the bottle to fill in those side areas because it's much quicker and then I will get my brush, my nail art brush as well in a sec just to make sure that it's all nice and smooth. So I'm just getting my striper and just going over and obviously as you can see just wrecking it basically. <laughs> that wasn't the plan, it was to make it better not worse but never mind. Um, I'm just making sure it's all nice and even. I don't want to have to do a second coat. So I'm just really putting a lot of attention into making sure it's nice and smooth application. I seem to be doing the complete opposite right this second, but never mind. There we go. So I'm going to pop that into the lamp.
So these have just come out of the lamp now. I'm actually going to do the other two first, like the plain ones, just because obviously it's literally just application of crystals, super easy, and I want to be able to put the crystals away before I spill them somewhere because I know it's bound to happen. Um, I'm just going to get some base coat to apply my crystals. I would typically use um, Builder Gel, but because it's literally just for a video and I don't really need to worry about the longevity of them, I am just going to use base coat. Um, so I'm just going to get some on my brush. And then I'm just going to apply a line, like a sort of V shape, because I'm going to start off with bigger ones at the base. And then I'm just going to create like a V shape. Um, obviously, you can't see it because it's clear, but you'll just have to take my word for it. It's a V shape. And then get some on this one as well. Move that over a little bit. Um, and then again, just creating that V shape because the crystals are going to get smaller as they go down, so I don't need as much at the bottom. So once I've done that, I'm then just going to get my picker up a tool thingy. And I want, I'm just going to tip some out, so I've got more control over the ones that I'm picking up. I want quite a large one for at the base. Definitely didn't apply enough base coat. <laughs> I underestimated how large the um what's it called are how large the crystals i was going to use are i like to use the really big crystals in videos because i don't tend to use those on clients it's very very rare that i use crystals at all anyway um but when i do once in a blue moon it never is the really large ones so i do like to use those in videos for that reason because it's not like i'm wasting what i could use on clients then which is good. These are beautiful, these opal crystals. They're really, really stunning. I'm just like applying it as I go along now because obviously I'm not very good at gauging how much, how many I'm going to need. Is that one smaller than the one I've just put on? Sometimes I feel like crystals are really deceiving to look at, like the size of them. Is that a bit smaller? I think it is, but... I don't know. I'm just going to place some next to each other, like on my um, card, like piece of card that I'm using. For, yeah, I'm going to do that. And then that one would go there. And then we've got a little, little diddy one to go right at the bottom. So I'm just going to put a little dot there. And then that one will sit on top. Oh, actually, I think those two bottom ones are the same size. I don't know why, but that one looks really, really tiny, but it, I don't think it is. I think they're the same. Hmm. Okay, they are the same. I'm going to take that bottom one off then, because I don't want two next to each other the same size. He just doesn't want to leave. There we go. I'm just going to go in with a nail art brush and just wipe away that excess um, base coat from around that bottom area. There we go. And then I'm just going to use the other end of my crystal picker upper thingy to move these crystals around to make sure they're all central. They're so pretty. I'm going to pop that into the lamp once I've finished faffing with it for no reason and then annoying myself and putting it in the lamp anyway. I'm now I'm questioning whether they're the same. Do you know what? I'm going to stop staring at them. Let's just put them in. Right, so I'm going to pop away these blue ones. There is obviously, like you've just seen, I've just put five crystals on that other nail. So I need to make sure that I pick out five of the pink ones so it matches the other one. And I'm using them on the opposite um, like colour just to make them stand out a little bit more. I don't want to put blue on blue because you're hardly going to see them in the same the other way around. So it's nice to have them opposite. So again, I'm going to put these next to me and just... I don't know whether the one on the other the other nail was as big as that big one. I think so. As you can tell, my eyes are obviously not very good because I have absolutely no idea what's going on. See, that looks smaller than that one to me. Is that one smaller than that one? A bit bigger than that one? No, they're the same. 
see this this is another reason like i'm actually rather glad to be honest with you that my clients don't like crystals because this is a problem for me <laughs> let's have a look at this other nail that i've just put in does that look about the same see i think those two there are the same on this nail i think i've gone a bit wrong there let's have a look i'm going to pop these on here and we'll see how we get on this is probably when I realise that I have done a completely rubbish job, but it's fine. We don't need to worry. It's not a real person. It's just a fake plastic tip. I'm trying to like use up the last of a base coat. So there's really, really hardly anything in this bottle. And I'm really, really scraping the bottom of it to get the last bit out before throwing the bottle away. So I'm just going to create a line down here because obviously we all know I didn't use enough on the last one. So I'm learning from it. I'm applying a bit more on this one. So let's go ahead and apply these. That one I'm pretty sure is big. Yeah, that's too big. Is that the same as this one? I think so. It's all making sense now. I used like the second biggest one on the first nail, which is why I think I've ended up, oh gosh, why I've ended up using two the same. It's because I should have used the largest one. That's the problem I've got. But we're going with it. It's all good. I've also applied way too much base coat. I'm not doing very well right now. <laughs> This is hurting my head far too much. You know what? I'm going with it. It's fine. It really doesn't matter that much. Like I just said, it's not a real person. No one's going to complain to me. It's not real. It's fine. <laughs> so I'm just going to push those into place now and get them where I want them. Definitely applied far too much base coat. To be honest with you, I did sort of forget that I'd already put a little bit on. So I did just add that massive dollop to the base coat that was already there but never mind there we go do they look similar yeah it's all good i'm going to pop that into the lamp for a full cure and then in the meantime we've got this nail back here so what i'm going to do next on these nails that i've done i've just got a hair on it because i tipped it up by accident I'm just removing that before i get going with the next step so i'm going to be using one of the reflective um, I'm just going to pop these away. The reflective gels from Brillbird. I will show it you in just a second when I've got rid of all these rogue um, crystals. So here it is. This is what it looks like. The Hypnotic Gel and Lac 142. I'm using the silver one just because it goes well with blue and pink. So I'm popping a little bit on my palette, which I actually have just realised would probably be easier if I just scooped it off with my brush. So I'm going to place some at the top of the nail up here and I want it to be like, not thick obviously because I want it to cure and everything, but I want it to have, I want the nail, like the glitter itself to be noticeable up there because that's the best way to create a fade obviously is to have it really dense, that's the word I'm looking for, really dense in the top area and then it get thinner as you blend it out downwards so I'm just first of all making sure there's enough at the top before I do anything at all and once I've done that I'm going to get my what's it called what is it called my ombre brush that's what it's called that must be the last one that I could find there it is um, I'm going to get my ombre brush and I'm just going to use that to pull down that central bit. Don't want that down there. Now once I've done majority of the blending, I'm just going to use my detail brush to just add a little bit more. Put some more there and then just blend it down a little bit more. Just want a nice fade. That'll do to be fair. I don't want too much. 
or for it to go too far down. Making sure again that this top area is nice and loaded with glitter. And then I'm going to pop that into the lamp. I'm going to do the same thing on the pink nail. So again, putting quite a lot at that top area. I'm going to get a bit more, I think. There we go. I am pulling it down. I'm really sorry if you can hear the rain in the background. I actually really like the noise of it. I don't know if it's just me. Let me know in the comments whether you are also a worshipper of the sound of rain or not. <laughs> um, hopefully you are, because if not, it's probably annoying you in the background. But I've got a window open because it is still a little bit stuffy from the freak hot weather that we had yesterday. I'm just going to use my detailer to blend it out this time. So it doesn't really take that much extra time anyway, to be honest. And you do have a little bit more control over where the glitter is going. And then once I'm happy with the blend and the fade, and then I'm going to pop it into the lamp for a full cure. And then, like I said, we're going to be outlining these lines anyway. So I'm going to get that because we're going to be using flexi tape you probably guessed it because i absolutely love the stuff um, i'm going to be using the white one because i think it'll go well with the blue and the pink and i want to keep it all light and airy colors so i'm going to get i'm just going to get this nail to see how long it is so i'm just going to cut across there i need four so that's perfect i'm going to top coat the two full nails with the crystals on off camera real quick and then i'm going to apply my flexi tape to these nails so i'm using my tweezers i'm just going to peel off a little bit and then we can get into applying sometimes it goes really well sometimes it's a nightmare it just depends depends on the day and how it's going to go so we'll see That's about right. Just gonna go up and then put some pressure on to make sure it's really stuck. It's not a huge outline, it's just to break it up a little bit so you can't see exactly where the blue like or pink meets the nude colour. It's just to give it a little bit of something extra. I'm not even going to comment about how easy or difficult it was because I don't want to jinx myself for the next nail. I'm not getting ahead of myself. <laughs> I'm just going to give them a pinch at the bottom. So there's that one. I'm going to give that a top coat and pop it in the lamp. And then I'm going to pop the flexi tape on this pink one as well. If I'm doing it on a client, I like to leave a little tiny gap. Um, oh gosh, at the cuticle area and also at the free edge. Just so my top coat almost like encapsulates the tape. Um, and then it's much less likely to lift off. Um, because the, you've got like a seal around the tape, which is really, really useful. So that is one top tip I have for flexi tape. Not a huge gap, you don't want it to be really noticeable to your client obviously, but just big enough. Like as you can, I'm not sure if you can see or not, but there's a really, really small gap there. It wouldn't be notable to look at, especially at the angle that it's at, um, but it would really, really help with adhesion and lasting. So it is worth doing. Okay, so I'm going to top, the, top coat this one as well, and then I'll show you what they all came out like when they're together at the end. So here is what they look like. I'm so happy with how they turned out. They'd be perfect gender reveal nails as well because obviously you get the blue and pink in there so that'd be really cute. Um, but I'm just going to show you what they look like with and without flash. That was with. I've just turned my flash off my phone. I'm going to move my light as well so it's even more obvious. But here's what they look like 
really really badly with no focus why is it not focusing my phone hates me today let's just pop the flash on make it more exciting and look at that how beautiful does that look it is absolutely insane how much of a difference having an led light shining on this beautiful reflective glitter makes them but also just want to show you what they look like in the dark look at that absolutely magical but anyway i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and i'll be back soon with another one bye